While we've become used to seeing salacious scenes in Hollywood movies today, there was a time when pinup girls, burlesque dancers, and adult films stirred up controversy. Many of the actresses in these films became stars and were admired by many, though few would like to admit it. One such burlesque icon was Virginia Bell. She was a topless dancer and had a short acting career before disappearing from public life altogether. Let's learn about Virginia Bell's fascinating life and career. Virginia Bell's Life Virginia Miriam Beck was born August 14, 1934, in Montrose, California. She was rather short and slim in an age when most pinup girls and burlesque icons were more voluptuous. She was coming of age at a time when Marilyn Monroe and Betty Page were all the rage. But what drew attention to Virginia Bell was her 48-inch bust. She didn't seem shy about having a large bosom, and wearing swimsuits or skimpy clothing was not taboo in sunny California. She decided to use her beauty to pursue a career as a model. Her first marriage was to Charles Merle Bell. Even after divorcing him, she kept his surname for professional reasons. She later married Eli Jackson. Jackson was a candy butcher in a burlesque house and later became a film producer. With Eli, Virginia had three sons, Pierre, Tyrone, and Todd. They eventually divorced and she married Alexander White, with whom she married until his death in 2004. Modeling Career Virginia Bell began her modeling career in the mid-1950s while in her early 20s. She had been dancing at local burlesque houses. Her enchanting beauty attracted men and she became famous for her large bust. In the 50s, burlesque and pinup girls were becoming the rave. A woman like Virginia Bell with an unusually large bust was almost never seen in magazines, nightclubs, or the cinema. She decided to pursue a career in modeling. She began posing for men's magazines and her photos caused these magazines to fly off the shelves. American men hadn't been used to seeing a beautiful woman with such a large bust in magazines before. She also posed in various outfits, from swimsuits to lingerie to dresses and short shorts. These weren't unusual for California, where she was from, but managed to create a stir in the rest of the United States. Before she knew it, she'd become a huge star. She had become one of the most beautiful women in America and had become the fantasy of many men across the country. While many of her photos were clothed, she also appeared topless in a few of them. Such photos were rare in America and must have been banned in certain parts of the country. Even when she was clothed, Virginia wasn't afraid to show off her large bust, which she loved and helped make her famous. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for a lot more about Virginia Bell. Acting career. In 1961, moviegoers saw Virginia Bell in a scandalous sexploitation film called Scanty Panties. It was a blue comedy film that featured vignettes of burlesque house comedians mixed in with burlesque dancers and a few striptease acts. But her first starring role was in the 1963 film Bell, Bear, and Beautiful, produced in part by her husband Eli Jackson. The film was directed by the now legendary Herschel Gordon Lewis, who rose to prominence by directing many exploitation films. It follows a young millionaire who becomes obsessed with a beautiful woman. He tries to track down this woman and finds her living in a nudist camp. She's a gorgeous blonde with an unusually large bust. This woman was, of course, Virginia Bell. Her character's name was Gina, and she was admired by many moviegoers who loved sneaking into B-movies, which were all the rage in the 50s and 60s. The film was one of many that dealt with life in nudist camps. Though the queen of this genre was arguably Doris Wishman, this film is one of the classics for anyone who loves mysterious films that follow desperate men chasing beautiful women in nudist camps. The same year she appeared as herself in a drama called Lullaby of Bearland. In this film, a couple wanted to rekindle the excitement in their relationship. The husband decides to spend time watching an exotic dancer played by Virginia. There's one segment from the film where the husband, played by Charles Aldrich, watches Virginia Bell dancing. His narration proclaims, This girl has the kind of shape that makes the 5 o'clock whistle blow at 4.30. That short line best describes the impact Virginia Bell had on men. Her next role was as Donna Julia in the 1969 historical drama Fraulein Doctor. This was a Yugoslavian-Italian produced film shot entirely in Yugoslavia, though it was an English language film. It followed a German female spy who planned to murder Lord Kitchener and obtain the defense plans prepared by the Allied forces. 
Virginia had a supporting role in the film. Her final film was 1969's Gertie the Grapefruit Girl and Friends, though little is known about this film. By this time, Virginia was now in her mid-30s and there were many other sex icons she had to compete with. At the end of the 60s, exploitation and grindhouse films were still popular, though the sexploitation films were coming to an end. The 1970s saw great B-movies that had sexual elements to them, such as the films of Russ Meyer, but it was clear Virginia Bell's popularity had waned. But this didn't seem to bother her. She enjoyed her journey as a model, dancer, and actress. She retired from the entertainment industry and lived a quiet life. Virginia Bell's Legacy Virginia's career was rather short-lived. She began dancing in her early 20s and had become a popular model by the time she was in her 30s. By the time she reached her mid-30s, she'd appeared in a few films which moviegoers loved watching and discussing when they were in the right company. Though she didn't continue acting or modeling after the early 70s, she remains one of America's most well-known burlesque icons and pin-up models. Archive footage of her dancing and photos have appeared in documentaries and reels featuring models. They have included the Real Classics series, Sunset Strip Volume 2, Super Boobs Volume 1 and 2, and Big Bust Loops Volume 4. Her legacy lives on as archive footage of her often appears in documentaries that discuss the sexploitation film craze. There's also archive footage of her in the 2008 sci-fi comedy Sex Galaxy. She's often referred to as Ding Dong, which was a nickname given to her large bust. In many writings about her, Ding Dong is often listed as her unofficial middle name. She appeared in pictorials in magazines such as Follies, Scamp, Caper, Gala, and Cavalcade. In the 90s, her photos were featured in Celebrity Sleuth magazine and Score Holiday magazine. In 1997, Score magazine published an article about her titled Boob Beat, the legendary Virginia Bell. She's also the subject of a short documentary called Two Bells for Virginia. While her career may have been short-lived, it's clear that many people still remember her. Virginia Bell passed away July 18th, 2010 at age 75. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know about Virginia Bell? Have you seen any of her films? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.